So continuing with the last ois of the Mimer. The Mimer before explained that the reason uh, why we mention both Mitzrayim and the Gula Sida, when meaning the future redemption when Mashiach comes, is because they they are, there is a virtue in the uh, Exodus that we want to mention when Mashiach comes. And the Maimir explained briefly that that when Mashiach, when when we went out of Mitzrayim, since we still had uh, negativity within us, we had to run away. Bekitzer, the Maimir talks about that that is related to the level of Iskafia, where you have to subjugate the negativity. There is negativity, and that's why they had to run out of Mitzrayim. However, when Mashiach comes, there will be, the Ishabcha, there will be a total overturning and getting rid of any uh, clip, any uh, forces of impurity, which will be when Mashiach would, comes. And now in the Maimur, he continues and he concludes, Vizel, and this is why we say, Ki meitzeis that like the days when you go out of Mitzrayim, I will show you wonders, because in the Gi'ula, see in the future redemption, there will be both milas, there will be both uh, uh, pluses, both virtues, meaning both we will have the mila, we will have the the benefit of iskafia, what of that which comes from breaking the negativity. The negativity is there, but you have to overcome it. And that's why we say, Ki mitzrayim, that like the days when you went out of Mitzrayim, I will show you wonders. In other words, we highlight the benefit of Mitzrayim because there is a virtue to breaking your uh, temptations, negativity, etc. Because then there is uh, more effort on your part and because there's more effort on your part, there's more of a battle necessary. Therefore, as he says early in the Mimer, Hashem releases deeper revelation, deeper koiches, deeper ability, strength to overcome that. Uh, and since in this Man HaGolis, throughout Golis, there is so many uh, nishyoines, there are so many uh, tests and so many obstacles to serving Hashem. And the Rebbe adds even the, one of the one of the uh, hardest of the obstacles is the al yishbayish bnei odom amaligim not to be embarrassed, not to be intimidated by people who mock Yiddishkeit. And nevertheless, we don't take that into consideration. We overcome it, we ignore it, and we dedicate ourselves to holiness. We dedicate ourselves to Hashem. That is a tremendous, uh, a tremendous mila, tremendous virtue, which in addition to releasing, as mentioned before, the great revelation from Hashem to be able to overcome it, it also shows that you have become a better person. You have become a more committed person to Hashem versus something that's just uh, uh, just from above. So therefore, he says that when Mashiach comes, we, we will go out with all the mitzvahs and all the maizim toivim and all the toida that we've done throughout Golos and primarily in a way of Eskafia, and at that time, when Mashiach comes, we will not only subjugate the negativity, we will actually overturn it and get rid of it, so we will have both the Maila of Eskafia and the Maila of his, of his Habcha. So therefore, he says in the Maimi, he concludes that, he, that therefore there will be great, greater revelations, there will be an end of the there will be, again, the Maila of Eskafia, which is the uh, main mila, the main virtue of, of going out of Mitzrayim. And then there will be what we will have by Kri- when Mashiach comes, which will be Neflois, which will be wondrous, because all the revelation of Mitzrayim and even the splitting of the sea, which was great revelations, all is, as said earlier, related to the level of Malchus. And it was only temporary because it didn't really transform us. It was sort of a revelation from above. But now, after all the void of goals, which we have transformed ourselves and the world around us, therefore we will merit to have both the koyach, the virtue of our work, and at that point it will also be added in the flois, wonders la'erech to the flois of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, meaning that the revelation will be without any garment, without any uh, uh, garment, uh, namely, specifically more, uh, the garment of Malchus, and at the same time, the Maimer, the last words of the Maimer, V'yachad im zeh yegam ha-maylo dikimei tzeiz chameretz mitzrayim, b'mheide b'meinu mamesh, speedily nowadays, b'biyas Mashiach tzedkenu, with the coming of Mashiach.
So this concludes the learning of the Mimer. Thank you to all who have helped teach the Mimer. Of course, all of us who have come together and learning the Mimer. There's no greatest chus when we do things together uh, as a community. And I'm sure it's a, a, a great nachas to the Rebbe. And just to briefly explain, we will be sending out the pan. The pan is to be signed by those who participated in learning the Mimer. Although in the pan we will ask a bracha, a blessing for everybody. But the pan is for those who participated. So before you write the pan, make sure that you listen to the mimer, <clears throat> learn the mimer, because that's what the pan says, that we've come together to give the Rebbe a gift in uh, learning the mimer. Everybody should have a wonderful Yudalf Nissen and a Koshirin and Freilich and Pesach.